Hi everybody, I'm John Hamp and we're coming to you today from the Tortuga Protected Nursery in Los Barillas, BCS, Mexico. And I'm Carrie Hamp and we are the, the Hampy Campers. Campers. Today is my favorite day here in East Cape. We are here at the Turtle Nursery and we are going to see baby turtles being released. This place was start by, started by two brothers, Noe and Omar Ariza. Turtle season here in the East Cape is from July to November. And what Omar and Noe do during that time is they drive around about 12 miles of beaches and they go looking for turtle nests. And then they dig up the eggs and they bring them back here to the nursery where they're protect, protected. Here on the East Cape, lots of people drive on the beach, so it's important for them to collect the eggs and bring them here so they don't get crushed by vehicles. Turtles have about a 45 day gestation period. So they come out here, I don't know if it's a, every couple of days or every day and they check and see what turtles have hatched. And when they've hatched, they put them into this big bucket and then they take them out of the thing and then they let them walk all the way to the beach. Um, they're super cute. It's my favorite, my favorite, favorite thing here at East Cape. Typically they'll wait until they have a good batch of turtles to do a full release. They basically, you know, put them all in the bin and then take them down to the beach. But it seems like every day that we've been here, we've had a few turtles that escaped and made their way to the beach. We had four yesterday and I guess there were four uh, today. We got here in time to see two making their way, their maiden voyage into the Sea of Cortez. Nursery programs are very important for the survival of or the repopulation of the turtles. One in 1,000 turtles actually make it to the water and survive. The turtle program has been a very vital part of the East Cape to bring turtles back into the ocean. But it's just a really fun family activity if you're down here with kids. Uh, they get a chance to touch a baby turtle and watch their uh, venture into the, into the ocean. And, the journey of these baby sea turtles is painstaking to watch, especially when they kind of break free like they did the last couple of days and they didn't do a full release because they have to make their way from their enclosures in there all the way to the water's edge and then wait for the right kind of wave to actually pull them in. And we watched them struggle just even walking across the sand, they'd end up on their backs and they're sitting there doing like push-ups and stuff, trying to <laughs> flip themselves over. And then they would get to the water's edge. Like yesterday, the water was coming in. So they were actually hitting the water and then the water was pushing them back up the beach. And then they had to make their way back down again and push them back up the beach. And they would do this over and over and over again. But this is all part of the journey for them as they build strength and they learn how to navigate both on land and in water. And then there's that critical moment that the water comes up, it's just the right kind of wave and it sucks them in and it pulls them into where they will spend the rest of their lives uh, inside the waters of the Sea of Cortez and the probably Pacific, I don't know, maybe they migrate. But um, it's really exciting to watch, if not a little painstaking. really glad we got to experience this as they make their way to the ocean and to their life. Yeah, just having us all standing around keeps the seagulls alone from snatching them off the beach, which happens all the time in the wild. So we're improving the, their chances of survival just, just by being a part of the process. Yeah. It was 
fun day. Fun, fun day. Fun.